guys, today I would like to uh, talk to you about tier lists. And the main reason why I want to do this is because uh, we've seen a couple of interesting, if not wild, tier lists uh, coming around Twitter lately because of the th season 3.5, because of the, uh, you know, of the national championship being finished. And I think it's important that like all of us take a look at tier list and understand how to read a tier list and what to see in a tier list. I don't know if you guys have seen uh, this one, but I have three tier lists to show you. I have Ban Baban, I have Goichi, and I have No Kami. Right? Three excellent players. Three of the best. Three players who are ridiculously strong. And three players whose tier list can be very uh, questionable, to say the least. Let's start with Ban Baban. Right? Uh, that's the wrong one, that's the one. This aberration is Ban Baban's tier list. This absolute haram piece of characters blended into each other is a tier list. So, first things first. Every single Dragon Ball Fighter's tier list does the exact same thing. Which to me just shows why a tier list is useless in Dragon Ball Fighters. Why do you have S++, S+, S, S-, 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 S-? You either have like S, A, B, C or sometimes you have like S minus because someone is above A but under S but you can't have S plus, S plus plus, S plus plus plus, S plus but wallahi it's not 2 plus, it's just under. You know what I mean? It can't... You can't just like separate because what you're doing in this case, you're saying I don't really know how to like rank them so I'm gonna create mini tiers, right? So... If we talk about Ban Baban's tier list, right? Obviously, UI Goku is God, Kid Buu is ridiculous, Gotenks ridiculous, GT Goku, Teen Gohan, they're really strong. Roshi is a character that not everyone puts that high, but remember that in Japan, Kazunoko destroys everyone. Right? Then you've got these, who are kinda okay, except Super Saiyan Vegeta. Then you've got S-, minus which is okay. Then you got S minus minus and somehow base Goku is there. So like, we don't really know why. Uh, A plus, why not? Couple of crazy things like this. Vegito and Goku Black on the same tier. Because reasons. And then A and B has Krillin in B. So according to Ban Baban's point of view, he is saying that Krillin is a worse character than a fundamentally flawed character like Frieza, right? He's saying that a character who can actually control the entire space with rocks, with a moving beam, with damage and everything, he's saying that it's la that low. And, and this as a whole, it's easy to look at this tier list and to go for a knee-jerk reaction being like, uh, Ban 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 is whack, man, like, this tier list is wrong. You could, you could say this, right, but You've got to remember something about tier lists, which is when you look at a tier list, you are looking at how one player sees the game. You are not looking at an objective ranking of characters. You are looking at a subjective perception from one player about the characters. No one on earth plays every single character on the game and masters them, right? That's why... I know some of you guys sometimes you ask me, yo, can you make a tier list? And and personally speaking, I'm like, I could, but who am I to compare Zamasu and Android 16? I don't play any of those two. I don't really see them at high level. I only have theoretical knowledge about them. Why would I rank them? You know? Speaking of Banbaban, Ban, this is called the Japanese approach to tier lists. In Japan, when Japanese players make a tier list, what they do is they make a tier list of their personal experience on the game. In the West, a lot of players make a tier list by the information they gathered from around the world. Say, you know, you've watched East Coast, you've watched Hook, you're like, all right, man, Goku Blue's got to be good, man. You know, Goku Blue, Piccolo, they've got to be all right, you know. You go to the West Coast, you see Roshi, like, yeah, it's got to be good. You go to Europe, you see Vegito, you're like, Vegito's got to be good. But in Japan, I need any game, right? I'm, I'm heavy into Street Fighter, right? And it's the same on Street Fighter. They only rank the players, like the characters that they face. So if you take this tier list, and you can clearly be why the hell is base Goku here? In what world? 
Let's let's just get from something even simpler, right? In what world would you rank Super Saiyan Vegeta over Base Vegeta? There is only one thing Super Saiyan Vegeta does that Base Vegeta does not, and it's the A assist. Right? They got the same normals. Base Vegeta gets more damage, gets OK mid screen, gets level 3 from anything, gets mixed from anything. You you cannot in a real world, on paper, put Super Saiyan Vegeta over Base Vegeta. But now if you put yourself in Ban Baban's shoes, you like Ban Baban, he plays Fenrich and he gets washed. And then he plays Tachikawa and he washes him. So, from his perspective, he's like, obviously Base Vegeta is not good. Because Tachikawa is not beating me with this. And it's similar with the character who are lower. Why is base Goku here? Can you name one top player in Japan who plays base Goku? No. Why is Vegito that low? Can you name one top player in Japan that plays Vegito? No. Taco is, is currently retired. So, if you had looked at the tier list last year during season 2, you would have seen that every tier list in the world, and especially in Japan, would put base Goku very low. Then they met Wawa, and then everyone put base Goku on top. Why? Because from their point of view, they had never met a player who actually gave them trouble with base Goku. So, instead of going and being like, yo, I'm gonna train base Goku and see what is base Goku doing, like, what is he good or not? They're just like, ah, no one plays him, I've tried him basically, Pfft. CBA, you know? So, when you see a Japanese tier list, Corky Joss, it's not about trusting or not. It's, it's about the fact that you have to see this tier list as Ban Baban's personal playing experience, you know? Obviously, Ban Baban plays a lot. He's an excellent player. He would body all of us in the chat, you know? Like, we have no right to be like, yo, you kind of whack at, uh, at understanding Dragon Ball Fighters. But his way of making a tier list is, in my personal experience, these characters, they wash me. And these characters, I wash them. When I play this against these characters, I'm not scared. Because no one in my country or in my surroundings annoys me with these characters. So... Don't look at this tier list as in, oh, this character is better than the other. Look at this tier list as in, oh, Panbaban is not worried facing Vegito and Jiren, but he is worried facing Super Saiyan Vegeta and Cell. Because there is a very simple argument to this, and that's the argument I gave yesterday, and I'm going to repeat it to you guys. Imagine your team is Pierce, Vegito, base Goku. That's a great team, right? That's a great team, right? Beerus, Vegito, base Goku, amazing team. Imagine you're like a low-level player and you can't win because you don't know the game enough and you're gonna see one of your favorite players, Ban Baban, doing this and you're like, hmm, okay, so I should swap my team into Super Saiyan Vegeta, Android 17 and Adol Gohan because they're all higher. You know, this is why, this is why you should not look at a tier list as in, I'm ranking characters. You should look at a tier list as in, this is Ban Baban's exposure to the game. So, as Proto Dwayne said in the chat, there is a conversation between him and Wawa, and Wawa came telling him, bro, are you mad like, putting Vegito there, it's haram, you know? <laughs> Which I completely understand. And, a lot of these tier lists go like this, right? So this is Ban Baban's one, let's take a look now at uh, Goichi's one. So Goichi put a tier list out today, uh, which is there, and this is Goichi's tier list. Goichi took a picture of his screen because he hasn't unlocked the screenshot yet. So, if you take a look at Goichi's tier list, you would say that it already makes more sense than before, but it keeps the exact same issue as the previous one, which is S plus, S, S minus. So, from the get-go, Goichi is telling you, my tier list isn't showing a drastic change between characters. So, you shouldn't get riled up because a character is in S+, plus and one is in S. Right? Then, you also got to take Goichi's approach to the game. Goichi's approach to the game is God Defense. So, if you take a look at the characters who are below, they're all the characters who don't have easy access to 50-50s, and Nappa, because Japan has never understood that Nappa existed. And, and Nappa is there. You know, like one day, Nappa will be played in Japan. One day, Abegen will put in work, but we're not there yet, you know. But 
taking a look at Goichi, you can see like, yo, this tier list is actually sound, right? What, what is there to debate about this one? Maybe, I, I, I'm assuming that the tiers are not ordered, you know, but I would say that putting all these characters in the same level is kind of crazy because you're, like, Goichi is suggesting here that Android 17 uh, and Yamcha are as good as base Goku and Teen Gohan. You know? This is what Goichi is telling you right now. He's telling you, yo, I believe that 17 is as good as base Goku. So from your perspective, you're like, yo, it's kind of cap. But you've got to see once again Goichi's perspective. When he plays against base Goku players, he blocks everything. Because he hasn't been in a situation where they really put him in trouble, right? And Goichi is a scholar of the game. He's played every character and he's tried to run them from his own approach, right? But do remember that Goichi's approach is not an approach that is maximum, like, optimal combos and mix-heavy. It's an approach that purely straightforward and wins. So, a character like Piccolo, he played Piccolo before, right? A character like Majin Buu in Goichi's hands, it's gonna be hard for him to see the, the massive potential of Kid Buu. Because that's not the kind of character he is. But you can see there that Goichi is giving you Essentially, I have the best defense on earth, and this is the list of characters who can open me up. This is how you should see it when you see Goichi's tier list. You shouldn't see it as a, oh, man, Janemba is worse than Adult Gohan. Oh, man, Blue Vegeta is worse than Super Broly. You should just see that when Goichi plays, he believes that this is the order it goes to. And I think Goichi's tier list is actually pretty good. I think if, if I was to be a bit annoying, my only thing is that S plus S and S minus makes no sense. You know, like you need... If you make a tier list, you either separate the players or you don't. Like you, you can't... This is an approach which is essentially, I don't know how to rank them, so I'm gonna mini, mini, mini rank them. In a tier list, usually what you do, you do S, A, B. And then if there is one character who's like better than A, but not as good as S, you create an S minus for it. This is a bit, you know, like trying to uh, to make it easier. Because then, if you take it as a pure as a pure sense, right? Because S plus and S minus is pretty close, that would assume that Zamasu is not too far from Teen Gohan. You know. But it is the I agree. All of these tier lists show how balanced the game is because Dragon Ball Fighters, aside from this prick UI Goku. And some of the top guys who are ridiculous, like, you know, Gotenks is dumb stuff, you know, Z Broly. Everyone else is pretty close. Which is why I'm trying here to say, like, you should not look at a tier list and be like, ah, man, my character is low tier or my character is high tier, you know? And I have one third tier list to talk about, which is No Kami, which is uh, from about a week ago. So this is No Kami's tier list, right? No Kami doesn't want to do, like, S minus, S plus A. But similarly, Nokami doesn't want to rank players too much. So, take his experience, which is I play on the East Coast and I play Hook Gang God all the time. The first thing that should be striking to you is that in top tier, you've got Piccolo there, who is literally on the same level as these people. You know? So, you've got to factor his own experience into account. You've got to factor the fact that Piccolo has, like beat him more than once and he learned the, the strength Piccolo has, right? You've got to see that these characters on B tier haven't annoyed him, right? Like, these four characters are not well played in the East Coast. Videl has Missy and that's all. And Videl, we know she has a lot of like problems and stuff. And then of course the Goku Black and Zamasu tier. I think this tier list is alright. The only thing with this tier list is that where where other players would do S and S+, plus, no, Kami was like, screw it, I'm gonna put them levels. But as a result, you get things like Piccolo is in the same tier as Z Broly, which is kinda cap, you know? But... Yeah, that, no, no, Kami was definitely like, he was trying to, uh, you know... He was trying to like, make it work, you know, but it did not, unfortunately. But this is the main thing that I wanted to... Maybe like quote unquote raise awareness about, uh, which is when you look at a tier list, never look at a tier list as a like objective view of every character, right? 
Never look at a tier list as an objective view of all characters. Look at a tier list as a, this is how I see the game. And we can talk about it because we've seen Ban Ban Ban, like we can just go back to Ban Ban's one, right? Immediately had like, why is Vegito that low? And Wawa is explaining him. And he literally said, after watching you play, I want to raise Vegito. So this is one of the things you need to realize, right? The reason why Ban 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 did this in his tier list is because obviously he has never watched a French game. Obviously, he has not watched Spain because he has not watched that Beerus and Jiren team from Gropis, you know? So this is what you need to see, like, what information does the player have to create the tier lists?